Jeremy Clarkson's revealed that he was recently mistaken for an astronaut by none other than Nelson Mandela. He even asked the Top Gear presenter what it was like on the moon. This was tricky, said Clarkson. I couldn't say that we made a pokey television program about cars because then he might wonder what on earth we were doing wasting his valuable time. So I did what I thought was best and said it was very rocky and dusty and there wasn't much gravity. <laughs> so would you have set Nelson straight or do you think it's rude to correct people if they make a mistake like that during no, conversation? No, I think it makes them look more foolish if you don't correct them because... You know, if you're just carrying on with this, this ridiculous charade, you know, he says, oh, what's it like on the moon? And then, he goes, and then later on, someone <laughs> says to him, why were you talking to Jeremy Clarkson about the moon? He does a car show. That makes you, it makes you feel even more silly. So yeah, but you can't say to Nelson Mandela actually talks about cars on the television, can you? Why you not? might as well say, yes, he is Buzz Aldrin. Yeah, but if he's got it wrong, why can't you correct him? What's wrong with that? I mean, it's too embarrassing. Would you? Yeah. If Nelson Mandela came up to you and said, so, Carol, what's it like on the moon, Buzz? <laughs> I go, I don't know, never been. <laughs> Would you? you? Know? I mean, if he said to me, what's it like being Miss World? I'd go, well, actually, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> No, I no, I no, I would, I would. I just say no. That's not me. That's not me. Uh, that's somebody else. And and I, you know, I think maybe they would, they would thank really? you for that because yeah, I, I do. Had a, I had a really uh, when I was very very young, uh, young actress. I was actually it was in this building. And do you remember upstairs downstairs? Mm. Do you remember Leslie? I'm down. She had long black hair, and I had very long black hair. I was very young, and I was here to party, and I was very shy, and I, I, did, I hardly spoke, and. Somebody came up to the went, Oh, hello, how are you? I said, I'm fine. Love you and upstairs, downstairs. Oh, no. And I went, Oh. And this woman came and she went, Meet Leslie, I'm down. And I went, Hello. <laughs> <laughs> you do this year. Oh, I love what's that. I don't know. Like, I do look like, like her. Do you? Yeah. I was only 19. And I Which one's and, you? And, 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 and all night long, everybody kept going up and saying, Hello, Leslie. And what do you do? You can't go, Actually, I'm not Les. I just went, yes, and I even signed her autograph. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's oh, I'm insane. even going red now with the feeling of it. It's terrible. I mean, I must admit, if, if Nelson Mandela came up to me and had got me muddled up with someone else, I would have completely gone along with it. Mm. I'd be would far, you? I'd be far too embarrassed mm. to put someone right. Mm. I had someone had a whole conversation with me thinking I was Sean Lloyd, and I did the same thing. I signed <laughs> did you grow? <laughs> 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 I know. Yeah, I was too embarrassed to come out. It's actually worst oh. nightmare, though, isn't it? That that thing of mistaken identity. I know. I, I was on the train once, and uh, <laughs> I could see this chap had kind of recognised me and was having a little wave. And he came over. And he said, "Oh, I just wanted to say hello." Oh, he said, "I'm your biggest fan." He said, "I've got all your CDs. I'm so excited." He said, "I can't wait to tell my wife I've met Leslie Grantham." <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't dare tell him. <laughs> Well, that's not an identity mistake, mistake though. That's he's well, got your name wrong. Oh, because yeah, we look alike. Yeah, aren't we? and if, it, <laughs> get rid of it. if you get someone's name wrong, then surely you should know, just. But I didn't correct, correct him. I didn't have the heart to correct him. I really well, what, didn't. what about you know if you're just talking to someone generally and they've completely got the wrong end of the stick about someone? Would, would, or, or about something? I think would you I'd have them? to correct them. I would, because I think I agree with Carol. I mean, they, they, they're just... If they, were, if they made a mistake in conversation and then they went on to make the same mistake with somebody else who yeah, it exactly. was, no. was really important to their it's career or something, exactly. you know, then it would matter more. Well, it's better to... It's like the conversation I had with Mark once. We were at um, a David Guest concert and the stylistics were playing. They were singing, oh. You Make Me Feel Brand New. I just stood there and, you know, oh, isn't this a great song? And he did actually say to me... He did say, but... Um, this isn't their song, though, is it? This is this is simply red. Oh! And I went, no, no, it's the stylistics. And he went, no, no, it's not. It's simply. Red. And we kind of had an argument about it. But because he's so young, he's a boy. He didn't even know the stylistics, and he thought that, that, that <laughs> "You Make Me Feel Brand New" was originally a simply red song. Yeah, but you didn't have to argue with him. You yes, could I have did. said, "Yes, all right, darling." No, well, why should I? Because why? Because <laughs> he's not. <laughs> to somebody else and they might think he's an idiot he's not an idiot he's, yeah. just, he's just young he's just and I bet he statement. cried and yeah. everything yeah. Yeah. Cry. I bet he did you had to sit him on your he knee all night it. long <laughs> <laughs> okay if you missed it earlier then you're in love because here's your second chat stop at YouTube here's your